welcome to my day in the life. I'm starting this vlog off right where I ended my weekend vlog. It is currently Monday morning. I like maybe a little after 8.30. I woke up at like 8.15 and I have just been laying in bed watching Gretchen's vlogs from last fall. Like I said October-ish. And I'm just like in a fall mood right now. And I wanted to go to the beach, not technically today, but just in general because I feel like I don't go to the beach as much as I do in the beginning of the summer as I do in the end of the summer. Um, I don't know there's just not as many beach days, but I think it's just really that I'm busy. Um, so yeah, I was just saying in my weekend vlog that it's just weird because my mom people are going back to school this week and my mom's a teacher so she goes back the day before so she's at work right now and then she like kids come tomorrow and then um the rest of my friends start school tomorrow and then we'll start school on wednesday so it's just like weird in my school because i'm doing the community college it doesn't start till next week so i'm like lonely and I like have this thing where I don't really like to be it's kind of new I don't really like to be home alone so yeah but so I'm just trying to keep myself busy so that's why I'm doing the day in my life um because I thought it would be fun and keep me busy today because I like don't have much to do and like I don't have school work to do you know what I mean so I'm just like okay what am I gonna do that's what that's also why I'm getting in the fall mood though because I found this really good recipe, um, a girl that I follow like, on, on my health account, I follow her, and she made these like gluten-free, vegan, dairy-free cinnamon sugar donuts, and they look so, so, so good. I really want to try them, and they honestly looked really easy to make too. So, yeah, maybe I will make those today. I really want to make those and then there is a pumpkin coffee cake recipe that Gretchen has made um that I was, she's making in the vlog that I was watching so maybe I'll make that on Wednesday and I'm, I'm just planning this out with you guys I think I might see if we have the ingredients there to make the donuts today that would be really fun but right now I am gonna try to make a little coffee and I saw it on TikTok last night a recipe for pumpkin cold foam so i'm gonna try to make it i'm praying that we have canned pumpkin i feel like we do because i feel like i got it last year like planning to make these kind of pumpkin things and i don't think i ever did so i really want to see if i can do that and if i have this up i will show you guys how to make it the only thing that i don't think that we have is canned coconut milk but i think that it's probably a big thing in the thing in the um, ingredient recipe, but I think I'm just gonna do it without it. <laughs> it'll, still, it'll still it'll still taste pumpkiny, right? That's what I'm thinking. So like, I don't know. It's worth a try. <sighs> okay, let's go see if we have canned pumpkin. Don't mind the mess, but I'm really setting the fall vibes and lighting my cider apple candle from home goods it smells so good i'm gonna be so cozy in here with my little coffee look at this gold that i found canned pumpkin and canned coconut milk okay i think it's that we need this and milk leave i have caramel cream on my will put that in there too and maple syrup and i'll see what else oh i think cinnamon okay so first i'm gonna do my coffee i put my ice in here this is the coffee that i'm using the la cologne cold brew okay so i have my little coffee and then i'm just gonna pour a little bit of oat milk because it's a little bit too coffee -y for me this is all that's left and then in the recipe it calls for pumpkin puree canned coconut milk coconut milk and maple syrup and cinnamon and i don't have like regular coconut milk coconut milk i figured we could just do almond milk but i think that i'm gonna do the canned pumpkin the co 
canned coconut milk in my oat milk caramel creamer. I feel like that would be good, a little caramelly pumpkin moment. And then I think that I'm going to first leave out the maple syrup because this already, the creamer already has like a sweet flavor in it. So I feel like that would be really sweet. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. Okay. This is going to be a little bit of a weird angle um, because you won't be able to see my face. But I'm just going to tell you the measurements, okay? So first is two tablespoons of pumpkin puree, okay? One. Sorry if this is like grossy. Don't watch. Two. And a little for good luck. And the puree. One tablespoon of coconut milk. Okay. One tablespoon of that. And then one fourth of a cup of the coconut milk, it says. But I'm doing a fourth of a cup of caramel oat milk creamer. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put a bunch of cinnamon on here, or in here. Okay, now we froth. It's super, super liquidy. Okay, let's try it though. was kind of a fail. Um, it's not really good. <laughs> it kind of just tastes like caramel coffee. Okay, well... <laughs> I mean, it's not bad, but like, it doesn't taste like a pumpkin spice latte or like a pumpkin cream cold brew, so. Maybe I needed to try, like, maybe I should have done the actual maple syrup. Should I try again? I kind of want to try again. Okay. Okay, so update. I tried the pumpkin cream cold foam again with the... Um, almond milk instead of the um, coconut milk and I added the maple syrup and I feel like it was worse. So in conclusion, I couldn't do it. It was a little bit of a fail and I think I just want to buy a like pumpkin creamer at the grocery store that I can froth myself. It just never like got foamy and frothy like when i froth up my um oat milk caramel creamer it, like in like tw 10 seconds it get like it gets thick and then it makes that layer like on top of my coffee and those two never did that so yeah a little bit of a fail and now i'm starving so i think i'm going to Try to salvage one so I can just drink it, or I don't know. And then I think I wanted to, I wanted to do a little Pilates class. So I think I'm going to do that. I also wanted to do a spin class today, so maybe we'll do that. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like I want to make breakfast. I think I want to make pancakes today too. So stay tuned. Is today just not my day? I'm trying to remake my coffee after my fails, and there goes my milk. Great. Okay, that is more like it. This is what I'm talking about with the foam. I don't know why it didn't work before. Okay, I'm gonna do a little 20 minute lean legs Pilates class because I don't really feel like doing a whole body, but I thought that this one looked good. Um, and then I think after I might do like a five or 10 minute arms one. It's just like, a, I like their arms, so there's no weights, but it burns after a little while. So yeah, I was gonna do a Peloton 
but I didn't spin class yesterday, so I'm like not really feeling it. So maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, just listening to my body and not gonna push it to do what it doesn't want to do. And I don't think I'm gonna film it because you guys know, <laughs> you guys know what it looks like when I do Pilates, so yeah. I am sweating and that was so tough because it was all squats and squat jumps. My hair is crazy. Here is today's little post-workout fuel. It's two pieces of cinnamon raisin toast, two eggs. Don't mind this ugly egg over here. This one is literally like perfect. Yeah, we don't really have much food. My mom has been grocery shopping tonight, so this will have to do. Just put some little makeup on for the day. I it's probably gross to me, but I didn't wash my hair after I did Pilates. Um, but if I wasn't like that sweaty and whatever, I'll shower tonight. But I feel like I've been enjoying putting my makeup on more just like during the day I didn't do any like foundation or anything it's literally just bronzer highlight a little bit of concealer on my pimples on my chin blush eyebrows mascara I feel like it looks like I have a lot on maybe but it's just like a natural little look and I feel like it makes me feel so much more confident and then it makes me want to be more productive and just have like a better day when I do that and I just am wearing like some little shorts, jean shorts and tank. They're kind of like short. I don't really, I got them last summer from Princess Polly, I think. Oh no, actually I think I got them from Urban Outfitters. They're cute. They kind of are short and they kind of make your butt look big. Um, and then this is just my tank from Target that I cropped by myself. Yeah, yeah, but I think it's just a cute little simple outfit. I was, I'm posting my video currently from this past week after my weekend vlog. And then I would probably, I like to edit as I go for like my videos. Like this video, I'm going to start editing because I filmed a bunch of clips this morning. And it makes me more productive and then it just makes it easier on me. And that's kind of like a tip for schoolwork too. Like... Just do like a little bit at a time start whenever you can and then it ends up being easier in the end then you don't have to sit down and like write an essay for two hours because the past five days you sat down and wrote a paragraph for 20 minutes so yeah little back to school tip time oh what is it called it's like time branching or something like that when you like do like certain increments of time and then it like ends up going by so much faster and you get honestly get like more work done better work done because you're only having to be like productive and creative for like a certain amount of time so then like do you know what i mean oh what is that called it's actually gonna bother me though time blocking is that what it's called i don't know gretchen's talked about it in her podcast before i'll have to get back to you guys on that I'm going to make little tortilla pizzas for lunch. I love these, these are so easy. I usually put them in the toaster oven, but today I'm gonna put them in the oven on boil. So I have some little sauce just from a can. I spread it on here. And then I'm going to first put some pepper on. We've got to do some seasonings. Then I'm going to do a bunch of garlic powder. And then lastly, just some basil. One time I accidentally put on Mm, I feel like it was, oh, what was it? Thyme instead of basil. Like all over the pizza. Okay, then I'm just gonna put some cheese on there and put it in the oven. Okay, here they are. Put them on the dirty pan. 
But if you're putting them, putting them in the oven, literally put them in there for like a minute because I put them in there for maybe like three and they're crispy and all of a sudden I like heard it sizzling and I was like, oh my gosh. Because when I put it in the toaster oven, it's like so slow and takes a long time. But honestly, these look good. good. This one's obviously a little burnt, but I think it'll be fine. It's not even that sunny yet, but I decided I'm going to go lay on the deck in my beach chair, sit, read my book, and listen to a podcast because nothing else to do. And I thought it would be fun to get some sunshine in. I'm just wearing this um, bandeau top from Michael Kors. I got it at TJ Maxx, and I don't really wear it out because, like, somehow I got this green dye on it, and then just these blue bottoms. Just like, honestly, wearing like the most minimal bathing suit just so I can get some. Color. Put some sweet potato fries into the oven. This is the brand. They have like seasoning on them already. Um, I went outside and sat outside and then it started like raining on me. Now it's like so sunny outside again. But I had already come in and like changed. And I was like kind of not feeling sitting outside. Maybe I will go eat my sweet potato fries outside. Um, but I don't know, I'm just like tired and I'm kind of, my stomach is kind of hurting me today. Like, I don't know, it just hurts and yeah, so I'm eating, I'm hungry though because I ate lunch like two hours ago. So I'm just gonna eat some sweet potato fries and probably just hang out. I'm like tired because I wake up and I feel super productive and then I get home I mean get home what am I saying and then I like hit a wall at like two o'clock and that's what time it is now so like and then I get productive again at night but not right now I just made a TikTok and it was like an ode to August and the song was August by Taylor Swift. And it was like all my cute pics and fun moments from August. And I'm like sad. Like I knew I was like in a fall spirit earlier. But I don't want fall. I want somewhere to stay. I don't want to go back to school. I want to just. Now I'm like really sad. I don't want somewhere to go. I don't want to be the south. This is how I was feeling yesterday if you watch my weekend vlog. I'm so afraid of change and I hate change and like things are so good right now in my life and it's summer and just happy and <sighs> okay. Go watch my TikTok. Maybe you should make one too. Currently listening to some good old country. I think I kind of want to get back into listening to more music. I listen to a lot of podcasts during the day, but I'm kind of missing my music. Anyways, uh, it's like almost four o'clock and I'm getting ready to go grocery shopping with my mom. Where's my hairdryer back here? She is on her way home from work. Here's my little grocery shopping outfit. Just some black leggings from Free People. Tank I was wearing earlier. And I'm bringing this jean jacket. It's hot outside, but the grocery stores are always so cold, so I'm going prepared. Here's just a little claw clip. Could probably use a wash. That'll be tomorrow or maybe tonight. Yeah, bringing my jean jacket in case I get cold. And we need to get a whole lot of stuff at the store today, so stay tuned. At the grocery store, we got spicy shrimp tempura and it's actually so good my little
car snack on the way home. Now I'm gonna make a little salad. Here is my little salad that I'm having for dinner. There's rotisserie chicken in there, carrots, cucumber, tomato, croutons, lettuce, and some Thousand Island dressing. It's not the healthiest, but it tastes good, so yeah. I took a nice little shower. I'm wearing my cozy clothes, just washing my hair, put my glasses on, and I'm feeling quite cozy. Um, what was I gonna say? I, uh, oh, I think I'm gonna go like make a little snack or dessert or something. I just want, I like cereal, I just want something else to eat. <laughs> Hi guys, I have just been hanging out, getting myself organized. I've been writing in my planner, like right what classes they have next week and just getting everything set up I was like on the website where they post all of our assignments and one of our teacher art teachers already posted an assignment for what we're doing next week and I was like oh my gosh and but it's going to be okay I was like oh my god I don't even know like what that is but like we're gonna have class before then like it's not gonna be a big deal and I'm just gonna take a deep breath senior year is just stressful and now I'm taking college classes it's just a lot. I feel like I didn't really know what I was getting myself into, but it'll be good. I know that I can do it. And yeah, it's so weird though that everyone I know and at my like regular high school is going back to school tomorrow and I'm just not, I'm like planning out what I'm gonna do at home. Yeah, I think I'm probably gonna go to bed early tonight. I'm tired. I ate some pumpkin spice cereal that was so good though. It's like Kellogg's, it's so good. I know, I'm tired. Like I just hit a wall, I feel like, of tiredness. So I think I'm gonna end this vlog off here, guys. I hope you enjoyed my little day in my life. I thought it was fun. Uh, it kept me busy, I wasn't lonely, home alone. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.